The 2023 tree is a 63-foot Norway spruce. The tree was named by the Shawnee tribe, and it's Watain Tekwi, which means bright tree. Something that is really special about the U.S. Capitol Christmas tree is its ability to bring people together. It doesn't matter uh, what your political beliefs are, what your religious beliefs are. This is really an opportunity for communities to come together. It celebrates our forests, our public lands, the communities around the forest and the state the tree is coming from. It's really a source of pride for the people of the United States. So yesterday was day one. They harvested the tree. We moved it down from the Monongahela Forest down to here in uh, Beverly, West Virginia at AHF to get it transported from the transport truck and trailer to the show truck and trailer. And then for the next uh, 16 days, we'll be going on tour to different events, different sites, different venues to showcase the tree and, and uh, show the people of West Virginia uh, what came out of their forest. Wow, I tell you what, what a great experience. The W990, performance-wise, handled the, it, the tree no problem. Shifting up and down through the curves and up and down the mountain, getting the tree out of the forest, it was a great experience. The truck's performance made the job simple. It performed very well, and as you can see, the tree's a good-sized tree, and uh, we were going down some skinny roads, so the steering ability of the truck kept us right where we needed to be and uh, did an outstanding job. It was a pleasure sitting behind the wheel driving it. Well, it's an honor and a privilege to be selected to haul the United States Capitol Christmas tree from the National Forest to the Capitol building in D.C. It's just a, a overwhelming kind of feeling that you get that you're a part of something that's, that's incredible that I you know, have never seen before and now I get the opportunity to be a part of knowing that, that we're a part of a process that's a once in a lifetime opportunity and a, a journey that not a lot of professional drivers get to make. So yesterday was my first day seeing the wrap and it's, it's, it's a gorgeous, uh, gorgeous truck. You know, I, I drive a uh, Operation Freedom truck with Warner Enterprises, but seeing this like this with the sunset and everything from the forest, it's just, it's, a, it's, a, it's beautiful to see, so. Kenworth has been a longtime sponsor of the U.S. Capitol Christmas Tree Project, providing the, the cab that, that drives the truck safely to the U.S. Capitol every year. Uh, they Every year, uh, their designers work in partnership with um, our team and the Forest Service to select a photo or some um, representation of the forest. They do a remarkable job every year of really reflecting um, the, the scenery or the what the state represents. to be able to pack up to get on the road. We have a 24 inch wide tree at the base. We got to get it into an eight by eight box when we're done. The limbs that are on the side that stick out, we have a team that is in, a couple people in the tree. They're helping pull the limbs in. Others on the outside pushing with straps and ropes. Get that as close into the tree to get it inside the, the rails of the truck. When that's done, we have walls that we construct that are used year after year to protect the tree and at the tail end of the truck, where the tip of the tree is, is, is a half wall that is viewable for the, for the public as we take the tree on tour across West Virginia. So the, the next gen T680 is, is an awesome uh, machine. And with the new updated systems that are in there, the digital dashboard, the, the response, the, all the safety mitigation systems that come inside the truck, it's just a phenomenal machine to, to operate. And knowing that Kenworth puts uh, safe commercial vehicles on the road, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor to drive this 100th anniversary truck wrapped.